and Teodoro, Layson, Texeng, Freddy, Julieto Uy, Esteban Zabala, and all souls of the faithful departed, and all souls in purgatory. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together, I confess. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear this, you who trample on the needy and destroy the poor of the land. When will the new moon be over, you ask, or the Sabbath, that we may sell our grain, and the Sabbath, that we may display the wheat? We will diminish the ephah, add to the shekel, and fix our scales for cheating. We will buy the lowly for silver and the poor for a pair of sandals. Even the refuse of the wheat we will sell. The Lord has sworn to the pride of Jacob, never will I forget a thing they have done. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord who lifts up the poor. Praise the Lord who lifts up the poor. Praise your servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Praise the Lord who lifts up the poor. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high, and looks upon the heavens and the earth below. Praise the Lord who lifts up the poor. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor to seat them with princess, with the princess of his own people. Praise the Lord who lifts up the poor. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, first of all, I ask that supplications, prayers, petitions, and thanksgivings be offered for everyone, for kings, and for all in authority, that we may lead a quiet and tranquil life in all devotion and dignity. This is good and pleasing to God our Savior, who wills everyone to be saved and to come to knowledge of the truth. For there is one God. There is also one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as ransom for all. This was the testimony at the proper time. For this, I was appointed preacher and apostle, I am speaking the truth, I am not lying. Teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. It is my wish then that in every place the men should pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or argument. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Though our Lord Jesus Christ was rich, He became poor, so that by His poverty you might become rich. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man had a steward 
who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, What is this I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship, because you can no longer be my steward. And the steward said to himself, What shall I do? Now that my master is taking the position of steward away from me, I am not strong enough to dig, and I am ashamed to beg. I know what shall I do, so that when I am removed from the stewardship, they may welcome me into their homes. He called in his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? He, re he replied, One hundred measures of olive. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for fifty. Then to another steward said, And you, how much do you owe? He replied, One hundred cores of wheat. The steward said to him, Here is your promissory note. Write for, one, for eighty. And the master commended that this honest steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. I tell you, make friends for yourselves with this honest wealth, so that when it fails, you will be welcomed into eternal dwellings. The person who is trustworthy in very small matters is also trustworthy in great ones. And the person who is dishonest in very small matters is also dishonest in great ones. If therefore you are not worthy with dishonest wealth, who will trust you with true wealth? If you are not trustworthy with what belongs to another, who will give you what is yours. No servant can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and Mammon. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel for this Sunday posed a very practical, simple, yet a crucial question for all of us. Tayo tinatanong na mabuting balita sa linggong ito, tayo ba ay seryoso sa ating kaligtasan? Are we earnest enough in our vocation or in our daily lives to make Jesus' salvation take effect in us. We know for a fact that salvation is something that we cannot buy or work for because it is a gift, isang regalo, freely given to us by God. And this is already available for all of us. It is available whether we like it or not. As Jesus won it, as he procured it with his own life. Salvation is always at hand whether we desire it or not. Whether we are scholars of scriptures or out of school youth, whether we are a criminal or a victim of injustice, whether you are beautiful or ugly, whether you are religious or a lay, a cardinal or a family man, whether you are a Christian or a pagan, salvation is for all. But the one million dollar question is this. Are we serious enough to make this happen, this salvation of Jesus 
happen in our lives. The Gospel reading simply narrates the parable about a dishonest steward. However, our Lord told us this parable in order for us to learn something. Nating kakalimutan yun. Kaya nga may talinhaga upang matutunan natin ang isang bagay na sinasabi na ating Panginoon. Not from the dishonesty of the said servant, but on his determination. That servant was so determined for his own life because he will be removed from his stewardship. Jesus praised his attitude to find a way to put things on his advantage. Jesus described the dishonest servant as someone who is shrewd, who is astute, wily, sa ating lingwahe, tuso, mawido, sweetik. Isa siyang sweetik na servant. Di mo maiisahan. How He wish, how our Lord Jesus wish that we, as sons and daughters of light, could be as shrewd as this servant with respect to our own salvation. O nga ano, tayo mismo ayaw nating malalamangan. Sisikapin nat sisikapin natin na tayo'y di maiisahan ng ating kapwa. Kung maaari, eh gusto natin tayo pa yung manlalamang. Tuwang-tuwa tayo kapag tayo nakatawad sa divisoria ng kalahati ng presyo. Para baga naisahan natin yung maninindah. Pero actually, mas naisahan ka nung nagtitinda. Tuwang-tuwa tayo kapag nakakauto tayo ng tao at tayo ililibre sa kainan. Minsan lumilipas sa maghapon, libre ang lunch, libre dinner. Tuwang-tuwa tayo. Nakaisa. Mas gusto natin na ang lahat ng pagkakataon, tayo palagi ang nakikinabang. May pagkasuitik din tayo minsan. Kung ganito tayo katuso, ganito rin ba tayo sa ating buhay pananampalataya? Ganito rin ba tayo sa mga pagkakataong kailangan nating panatiliin yung ugnayan ng Diyos sa atin? Pero bakit di tayo tuso? o sweetik na talikdan yung ating mga bisyo. Sa larangan ng pakikitigma sa mga temtasyon at kasalanan, bakit tayo kadalasan yung nalalamangan? We still live with our favorite sins. Bakit sa harap ng pagpili sa kabutihan at kasamaan? Mas minsan, pinipili natin yung masama kesa mabuti. Mas pinipili natin kung ano yung komportable tayo kesa tayo yung kasundo ng Diyos. Mas pinipili natin yung mas madali kesa mas mahirap kung saan tayo makakagadan siya kesa panatiliin ng relasyon sa Diyos. Kadalasan, mga kapatid, bagsak tayo pagdating sa pananampalataya. Ito, mga kapatid, ang nais ng ating Panginoon, so dapat nating pagnilayan, tignan sa ating mga sarili, 
Bakit hindi natin gamitin ang ating katusuhan sa mundong ito upang manaig ang ating pagmamahal sa Diyos? Naalala niyo ba yung kwento ni Santa Teresa de Avila? Sa Santa Teresa de la Avila ay madasalin. Pero nung imisan siya ay pumunta sa kubeta at magbabawas, siya ay nagdadasal pa rin ng Santo Rosario. At nagpakita sa kanya si Satanas. At ang sabi sa kanya, Simbergwensa Teresa. Shameless Teresa. Hanggang dito ba sa kubeta nagdadasal ka? It is something inappropriate for God. O ano sagot ni Santa Teresa de Avila? Lahat ng lumalabas sa aking bibig ay para sa Diyos. Pero lahat lumalabas sa aking puwet sa iyo. Ganyang katuso ang hinahanap na ating Panginoon. Hindi malala mga. Kaya nga mga kapatid, gamitin natin ang lahat ng ating nalalaman, ng ating lakas upang hindi manaig ang kasamaan at kasalanan sa ating buhay. We all stand and let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light, light from, from light, light true, true God, God from true God. God, begotten, not made consubstantial with the Father. Through, through him, him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Almighty Father, to your Son's incarnation, ministry, passion, death, and resurrection, you enable us to realize and respond to our true dignity as your adopted children. Let us stay true to this gift and responsibility as we say, Father, help us share in the richness of your kingdom. Father, help us share in the richness of your kingdom. May your church remain a steady channel of your grace as we strive to become truly a foretaste of the richness of your kingdom here on earth in our different charisms and ministries. We pray. Father, Father help, help us, us share, share in the richness, richness of, of your, your kingdom. kingdom. Guide our national and local leaders so that they may make present the richness of your kingdom in the dialogues they foster and engage in, and through the policies they make. Help them in their work for the common good and care for our common home. We pray. Father, Father help, help us share, share in the richness, richness of, of your, your kingdom. kingdom. Leave all of us gathered today from the different sufferings we face day by day. Heal and sustain us physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, and spiritually, so that, despite the sufferings, we may fully strive to become a reflection of the richness of your kingdom. We pray. Father, help us share in the richness of your kingdom. For the Dominican family and the families of our Dominican brothers, let us pray to the Lord. Father, help us share in the richness of your kingdom. 
for the birthday intentions of our brother, Denver Max Collegado OP, we pray to the Lord. Father, Father help us share, share in the richness of your kingdom. For the end of the pandemic, may the Lord grant us the healing we need and the grace to recover from the detrimental effects brought about by COVID-19. May the Lord continue to heal those who are infected, protect those who are in the front lines, and grant eternal rest to those who have died. We pray. Father, Father help, help us share us. in the richness of your kingdom. Embrace those who have gone before us. Let our dearly departed, especially Father Rafael Quejada Opi, enjoy your kingdom in its full richness and glory. We pray. Father, help us share in the richness of your kingdom. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Father, help us share in the richness of your kingdom. Loving Father, you did not leave us to wallow in our wretchedness and misery and sent your only begotten Son to make us realize that in your spirit we too have become your children. Make us actively participate in your mission of commun communion and redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundation of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You form man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For to your Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather the people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with the blessed apostles and the glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. We are servant Francis, our Pope, Onesso, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. We now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lord Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God, who will take all away our sins. Happy are those who are called to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Corpus Christi.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those who renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Amen. Lord be with you. Bow your heads for the blessing. Bestow increase of heavenly grace on your faithful, O Lord. May they praise you with their lips, with their souls, with their lives. And since it is by your gift that we exist, may our whole lives be yours, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go and make Jesus known to others by your way of life. Thanks be to God.